everybody, this is Emma from Tutorials by E, and I'm here again to show you how to make this awesome bracelet. I call it the double single, and yes, it's kind of like the triple single, but um, it's a bit different because it only has two rows, and it has capping bands in those bands that are looped over. So you're going to need 52-ish bands in all. I used 52 for this bracelet, but depending on how big your wrist is, you may need a different number for the extension. You'll need 7-ish for the extension, I use 7, 24 for this chain part, and 26 for the middle. You can use as many colors as you want for the middle, but I'm going to be using pink and white, and I'm using 13 of each color for the middle. I'm also using tur the Jelly Turquoise Blue for the chain on this one. So you'll also need a hook and a C or S clip. I'm using a C clip. So now if you have a loom that can't come apart like the Wonder Loom, just wait until the week, the Friday after Valentine's Day and there will be a tutorial for that um, using a Wonder Loom. And um, Make sure to subscribe, that way you will be sure to be notified when that video comes out and you'll be sure to be able to find it and everything. So, to take apart your loom, just pop out the middle piece. You can use your hands if it comes out e easy enough. There we go. And put it so that all the arrows are face pointing away from you. And just put it back in. Like so. Now, take your first color that will make the chain, and starting on this side, put a band up like so. Here, let me zoom in a little bit so you can see. There. We're going to keep doing that up all the way till we get to the top. Alright, so now we're at the top, we're going to go back down to the bottom and do that again. Except on this row now. Alright, so now that we're at the top here, we are going to put on some more bands. I'm going to be using pink, and they will make these little V's across your bracelet. Just take it and stretch it across these top two pegs. Move my bands over here. Up there. And you can push down your bands as you go. Sorry, I got off camera there. All right. 
Now we're going to put capping bands on, so just push down all your bands. Alright, so let's start at the bottom, and we are only going to put capping bands on this side. So. Take your color, I'm using white, twist it into a figure eight and fold it on top of itself. Then just put it on to this peg. Keep doing that all the way up to the top. All right, here we are at the top. Now we are going to start hooking. As you see, I have two bands left over. You'll see what they're for in a minute. So put your hook inside this peg, grab the bottom pink band, pull it up and through the capping band and onto this side. Do the same for this peg. So reach in the capping band, grab the pink band, Pull it through the capping band and on to this next one. Keep doing that all the way down. So here we are at the bottom. Now we're going to go back up to the top and hook these chains. So reach your hook in and grab this bottom. Reach your hook into both of these pink ones, grab the bottom blue band, pull it up and through those and onto this next peg. Then reach into here, grab the bottom blue band, pull it up and through and onto the next one. Keep doing this all the way down to the bottom.
Alright, so here we are at the bottom. Let's go back up to the top and do that again. So go in all the bands, grab the bottom one, pull it through, and on to the next one. Alright, so now we're to the end, and we are going to use up these last two bands. We are going to put our hook into this one, all the way in, put, poke it out, grab one end of this pink band on your hook, pull it through all of them, and put the other end onto your hook like that. Just pull this around to the front, and then just let go. It'll just hang there. Like that. Do the same to the other side. You can twist your loom if you need to. Put your hook in. Grab the band. Put the other end on. And pull it around to the front. There. So you should have something that looks kind of like that. Now we are going to make our extension. Get my bands over here. So take your hook and pick up both ends of this band, trying not to twist it as you do so. See here, there we go, like so. And take a band and pull it through both of those. Then just leave only this end on and hold the other end with your fingers and put your hook through this band and the other end of the band. Put the other end of your band on and pull these two right here off the hook so that you just have these two left. Then, just take your other bands, slide these down a little bit, grab a band, put your hook down, pull it through both of those. Grab a band, pull it through both, and then put the other end on the hook. Keep doing that until it's as long as you need it to be. You can just make it like seven or eight bands long and then try it on your wrist after we take it off and if it's too small or too big you can add that later I'm kind of twisting these hmm. there so now I'm going to be to the end of my chain and take your C-clip and put it on so that these ends are secure, like so. Now we're going to take this off the loom. There. So you can just pull on the ends a little bit to straighten it out. This is the design. It's really pretty. And then you can take 
the end of your C clip, fold the bracelet over and clip it onto this white capping band like so. There. And now you have finished your bracelet. This is how it looks on. And it is a really cool pattern. So I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you like it. And subscribe to my channel. Again, if you don't have the rainbow loom or if you don't have a loom that can come apart, just wait. And the week after Valentine's Day, um, I will put up a video for that. And subscribe so that you will be sure not to miss the Valentine's Day special, which will be a Valentine's scallop bracelet. So make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. And stay tuned for my other videos. See you next time.